In this video, Speedcube Shop sends me over a bunch of cool stuff to show you. Let's get this. Since it's been a while, I wanted to try something new with y'all. I'm going to react to each cube's packaging in real time, so let me know in the comments if you like this. Also, I'll be announcing the four $25 gift card winners from my last giveaway. I'm also really close to 60,000 subs, and I'll be doing my next giveaway when I hit that milestone. So with that said, here we go. First up, I have the new Maylong Magnetic Megaminx. The box shows the puzzle, and it has some raised art, which I like. Uh, inside, we're presented with the Megaminx, and some fun MoU collector cards. Nice. I don't have this one, so I better add it to my collection. Going into the Mega Minx itself, I really like the structure of the puzzle. There's a lot of textures, which is really cool, and it makes it look very unique. Not sure if this is what I had in mind when I was thinking about a May Long Mega Minx, but it's still pretty cool. The colors aren't too exciting, but again, they had to pick 12 colors, so it is what it is. Real fast, the May Long Mega Minx is 148 grams. It was released May 18th, 2021, and you can get this only in sticker list for $13.25 using discount code HERO at checkout on speedcubeshop.com. I will make note that this is really easy to grip, which I personally struggle with in most Mega Minxes. The magnetic strength is pretty light, but seems to do the job. I'd probably like it to be a bit more on the magnetic side since I rely heavily on magnetic assistance. So that's kind of disappointing for me, but it is what it is. All right, so not gonna lie, this doesn't really turn that great for me. I mean, it, does, it turns decent, but as you can see, it's not gliding like I would have expected, but it isn't bad. I'm, I'm sure it needs to be broken in more. I'm all about the ease and use for this, and it checks those boxes. Don't get me wrong, there are some out of the box lockups, but it is a very smooth puzzle. So let's take a look at the internals. The core is really bulky, uh, and the caps aren't anything special, so it's not bad, but it's definitely budget. The corner and edge pieces are noticeably budget, but again, I didn't expect much there. At least they fit together tightly. Okay, enough of this. It's time to assemble. But overall, this is a pretty good budget Megaminx. Cubing technology has advanced so much, and I love that there are so many good lower priced puzzles on the market. Now, let's get to the next one. Now I have the new Diane Zanchi Pro M. I love the graphic on the box. It's technical, yet simplistic. Inside, I'm presented with a cube, a card next to the cube, and a hardware box. Inside this box, I get a bag, some pamphlets, a mini screwdriver, and an adjustment tool. Uh, going into the cube, there is nothing more satisfying than a tightly wrapped cube. I love pulling the plastic off ever so carefully. So satisfying. It's been a while since I've had a stickered cube, so this is pretty nice. I'm not a huge fan of stickers because I always seem to chip the stickers and it kills me a little inside. The colors are really nice, but not totally satisfying. The blue is a little too dark for me. Real fast, the Diane Zanchi Pro M 3x3 is 56 millimeters. It weighs 77 grams. It's available in black plastic, stickerless, and green, which is kind of random. <laughs> This is also available for $33.20 using discount code HERO at checkout on speedcubeshop.com. Okay, the magnets are really nice and set to the medium strength because it looks like you can adjust them up and down. We'll have to try that in a bit. Going into some first turns, it's really nice. I for sure need to break this in a bit more, but out of the box, this thing glides really well. I experienced some catching, but again, it's brand new and out of the box. Overall, this feels really nice and it should feel great because it's nearly $34. Uh, breaking it down, the core is really nice and under the cap, you can adjust the core and tensions, which is pretty standard now. The caps do not want to stay on. <laughs> Uh, as for the corner and edge, it has cool looking red magnets, uh, which I like, and you can see the edge magnet adjustment better now. All right, time to assemble and try some new settings. Overall, this is a really cool cube. Not sure if I'm getting $34 of value, but it's nice. Adjusting it to the strongest setting, it's not that much stronger in my opinion. It's just slightly stronger, which 
kind of disappoints me, but I actually like it on the strongest setting, so I'm gonna keep it here. But just going from the medium to the strongest, I would expect a bigger jump. So if you decide to get one, well, let me know in the comments. All right, last we have some Stardust and Lunar Lubes. Just for heads up, both these are considered the fastest kinds of lubes Speed Cube Shop offers. Lunar is the fastest silicone-based lube, and Stardust is the fastest water-based lube. For more detailed information on these lubes, I encourage you to head over to speedcubeshop.com. Uh, I've experienced Lunar before, but I'm going to start with Stardust. I've cleaned my new Diane Zanchi, and I'm ready to add Stardust. So the Stardust feels a bit off. There's something missing. I'm not entirely sure if it's because it's water-based, but I just, I don't get the same feel that I'm used to. Maybe I'm spoiled with silicone-based lubes, but I, I can't quite pin what's missing. Okay, on to the Lunar. I've cleaned out the cube, and again, it's time to add the Lunar Lube. All right, this feels much better in my opinion. It glides more smoothly, and it's what I'm used to. Uh, so if I had to choose a lube to primarily speed up my cubes, I'd say I gotta stick with Lunar. Sorry, Stardust. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, and now it's time to announce the four winners I've randomly selected. Out of 1,038 entries, winner one is Sanjith Madame. Winner two is Grant Jocelyn. Winner three is Bosco. I hope it's like the chocolate syrup. And winner four is Gideon. I've sent your emails that you use for the entry to speedcubeshop.com and they will send you all $25 gift cards. So hopefully your emails are valid. Again, thank you all for supporting my channel. Let's see how fast I can get to 60,000 subs so I can kick off my next big giveaway. If you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Be sure you're also using discount code HERO at checkout for any and all speedcubeshop.com orders. Don't forget to give this video a like as well as comment any thoughts or questions below. Additionally, I started a merch site, so don't hesitate to check out the link in the description and consider supporting my channel. Lastly, follow me on Instagram as well as join my Discord. Links in the description. And until next time, happy cubing.